Hi, this is Stacy from Many Crumbs Family Farm Homestead, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, organizing. I love to write, I love to plan, I love to organize, so I'm just going to show you a couple of my different binders that I have started or have done a lot to. Um, also show you different organizing things I have. So, these two big ones are... Um, we're getting ready to start a family business, so many comes family farm business plans, and it just has different um, our plans of what we have wrote up, what our business is going to be about. Once our business gets started, this one says many comes family farm one year. This will be all of our um, all of our inventory, all of our um, the money going in and out. This is going to be our, and these things are thick, 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 thick. So. We'll probably hopefully get filled. Hopefully our business will be very good. Um, this one I started doing a um, a recipe book binder, um, different meals that we make and eat, um, um, different recipes, different crock pot meals, and I'm going. This is just going to be what we personally um, like to do. I'll probably make when my kids each graduate. I will probably give each kid um, a binder of our family home recipes, all the foods that they like, and I'll probably also um, I'll do a Bible for each kid whenever um, they get married. Um, me and my husband will sit there and read the Bible throughout one year, and we're going to take notes in that Bible. My friend Kim gave me this idea. We are going to take notes um, throughout the Bible. And then when they on their wedding day, they'll get a Bible that that um, you know their mom and dad, mother in law, father in law, um, studied together and wrote in together. And we'll do that for each grandchild. We will have two. Um, every time we find out we're having a, we're having a, um, a grandchild, we are going to read the Bible together that year, take notes, and each baby will be um, presented a Bible from their grandparents. Um, this is. I'll start with this one first. My friend Daisy gave me this binder, and it has um, tons and tons of um, homemade recipes, um, like different recipes on how to make different aftershaves. Um, let's see, um, a childbirth kit, homemade baby wipes, um, how to make dog treats. All kinds of different, different homemade products. Anything you can almost think of is in, like lotion bars, different kind of lotion bars. Lotion bar one, lotion bar two, lotion bar three. Um, just tons and tons of recipes. Um, a general cold cream recipe, lemon cleansing cream, bug repellent. It's just tons of homemade recipes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, my, and bath salts, yeah, my awesome friend Daisy, um, had this book made, I think someone made it for her, maybe, and then she passed it down to me, um, herbal rinses, um, stuff about essential oils, just, it's, it's amazing, and then I personally started a Facebook group, um, it has like thousands and thousands. I mean, I think it's like 12,000 some people in it. I passed it down, but I was the original, um, the original owner of the group. I started it and it was, um, I think it's called something like homemade products, soaps. It's a big long, long, long name and we couldn't change it after so many people were in the group. But anyways, it's still on Facebook so you can look it up. It's like homemade products like um, soaps, deodorant, salves is a big long name so it'll pop up um, and every time somebody would give us a recipe I would print it out and put it in my book. Um, I haven't done that for a long time like I said I did it for the first six months and then I ended up passing the group down because I um, had a homeschool group and other groups too but like um, how to make lip balm, um, homemade deodorants, um, homemade finger paint, all-purpose cleaners, um, sunscreens. Look how thick this one is, too. This one is really, really, really thick. 
um, fabric softeners, liquid laundry soap, um, dish detergent, mitt lime, foot scrub, um, whip body butter, roche, coconut, um, I just, everything, I have tons and tons of cool recipes, um, face wash, I even have a bunch that I haven't even put in, in here yet, um, just tons and tons and tons of different homemade recipes, so I just wanted to share some of this with you, um, I have a home finance build organizer that I'm getting ready to do tonight, fill out tonight, um, but you write all your, um, all your bills, how much they are, when they're due, and you just stick your bills in here. So I thought that was really cool. There's a planning calendar. I have, um, I homeschool, so I have a calendar for, like, homeschool events. I have a calendar for, um, I, I write homeschool events. I write when my husband's night's off, or, well, when he works. He works, um, six days a week night shift, so he has one day off. But I love to organize and plan, so I've been filling out my calendar. Um, birthday parties, birthdays. Um, I also, um, whenever I meal plan, I like to put a, um, this is on my refrigerator, so the kids can kind of, or my husband can kind of look down and see what we're having for that week, and they can look through everything, too. Um, I try to make, be making, like, meal plans for the week of, what we'll have each day, and then make our um, grocery shopping list of what we'll have, um, what I need to buy for that week, and then I make a list, kind of like, a, like I'm making this into a binder for me. So I will plan out what we're gonna have for the week, and um, then I'll be able to go back through and look through my meal planner whenever I get stuck. Like, oh, what should we have today? Then I can look back and look, oh. We had that a couple weeks ago. We'll eat that. So I'm labeling it like week one and two. This is when I started making it. And then maybe on week 20, I'll need, um, I'm tired of thinking of what to make. So I'll look back through my meal planner and I will see um, some ideas of what we had in the past. And I will leave you with this Bible verse since we're talking about organizing. Um, um, Proverbs chapter 13 or chapter 14 verse 1 Every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands So have a good night and God bless